Hey, you know what y'all do, man. Come on. So we can just right now come over here. Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do interview with y'all then. I've been doing interview with y'all then. Let me see. I like to grow some of the questions. Y'all better get all A's in school, no cap. I didn't turn into the man, uh. man, nah, man nah. I didn't turn into the man, uh. man, nah, man nah. I didn't turn into the man, uh. man, nah, man nah. Bombing on my jeans, dripping denim on my little batons. I didn't turn into the man, uh. man, nah, man nah. I didn't turn into the man, uh. man, man nah. I didn't turn into the man, uh. Bombing on my jeans, dripping denim. What's happening? We're back in cool, kids. It's your boy. So this is cool, and as you can see, I'm back again with another interview style video. I know you guys went crazy on the last one, so I have to bring somebody way more famous than my baby mama. This time, we ain't got no girls. We got my boy Filthy Rich in the building, man. You didn't bring your baby mama? I had to, man. Look, they, they, they want they want to help. Yeah. So look, we got my boy Filthy Rich. <laughs> like, I told y'all I was gonna start a trend. Niggas gonna want to definitely interview their baby mama. We also got my boy Bad Man Kevo here. He's the connect. He the one that put me in to connect with uh, Filthy. Look, I already follow him on Instagram. I don't even follow him back. He on that real famous Hollywood stuff. Hopefully know. after today, man, you know, know, things can change. But look, first thing first, I got a question for you. What's in that cup, man? It's Rose. Rose? Okay, Rose. Is that your own cup? Is that your brand? Uh, no, I'm sponsored by Zotty Pop, though. I got my own melanin. Wow. Uh, cool juice, though. So look, that's that's another question. Look, I need I need to get the plug. I want my own cup, the so cool cup. I'm gonna be putting Gatorade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna line up with you. Gonna get your own drink. Oh, see now we're talking. See, listen, this is how you network. All right, you don't just go out to parties, take pictures with people. You actually have to link with people that's actually lit. First of all, you know what I'm saying, bond with them, and then you can create millions out of nothing. This man got his own drink. Come on, what else you got? Shit, I'm a weed strand. Well, we ain't gonna talk about that on my channel. Okay. But hey, it's cool that he has all that. You yeah, know, I don't deal bad. with drugs. Yeah. But stay no the drugs, kid. Definitely. If you're um, an adult, though. Yeah, no. I got my own. Um, I breed dogs. You breed dogs? Yeah, breed dogs. What kind of dogs? English Bulldogs. The little ones? No, that's the Frenchies. Oh, Frenchies. What's yeah, the I got micros, though, and minis, though, but English Bulldogs, they're a little bit bigger. My dog just passed. Rest in peace, Rhino, you guys. I know you love dogs because I brought dogs into the channel, yeah. and they actually blew me up way bigger. So yeah. they love dogs. Yeah. So I'm going to have to look up English Bullies, right? English Bulldogs. English Bulldogs. Did you see my dog? Uh-uh. All right, I got, I got a nice yeah, little show, American bro. Bully outside. Still one left, man. I'm not trying to lose him. I'm actually gonna give them to my other baby mama and let the kids take care of them. <laughs> I got two baby mamas. Y'all already know I got done by rule. I got two. I got two too. Two baby mamas? Alright, we in the same boat. Wait, you ain't got no kids, huh? <laughs> you got one baby mama. <laughs> Alright, listen, man, look. So my boy Man Man Kevin, he gonna ask some questions. He gonna answer some questions. Yeah. I'ma ask some questions. He gonna answer some more. You went on Instagram and asked your Instagrams what they should ask. Yes, sir. So, one of the people they ask, have you ever been cheated on and how did you handle it? And Dang. what happened? Uh, I got cheated on. What? Yeah. Dang, bro. In the past or in the, in the, like, nah. in the more recent time? I mean, yeah, in the past. Oh, okay. So, okay. Know, so, so, like, was it with you, when you having money or not having money? Um, I was like that. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, like, the saying is, you know, when you locked up, your girl ain't your girl. But you know, I was asking her, you know, when she was coming to visits or whatever, like, hey, I've been here for a minute, like, what's up, what's going on? Like, and it was just, nah, 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 waiting on you, waiting she on lied. you, waiting on you. Yeah. And then when I came home, I found out the day I came home. The day? Yeah, probably like home like an hour. What? <laughs> so, how do you find out? Know? Somebody called him? Called, I had her phone. Oh. And he called. What? I, my cousin had picked me up, went to the mall, getting off the exit. So did that hurt though? You don't gotta lie. I say, I say, by happening to me, like, not hurt, like, like, oh my God, like, I'm a killer type. Yeah. But like, it hurt the fact that, you know, when, when I was down and uh, 
everybody was saying what they were saying, you know, the girl ain't your girl, damn, we whooping. I'm like, not mine. Uh, oh, you were saying not mine? Yeah, I, I was hearing I'm, that I'm a lot. I'm like, bro, I'm you getting know, confirmation man. from her, and she's saying, you know, I'm like, not mine. I'm like, this shit. So I said in my last interview, girls are slicker than men. Yeah, they, they will lie better than us. Of course, men lie. Quicker than yeah, they, so, so they, they, they already on bullshit. Responsibility, they got all that as a young age. So, especially if it's just you asking them and they ain't nobody there to tell the truth, they gonna say what they want to say. So basically, they get away with it. Yeah. I don't know if I ever been cheated on before by my girl. Why you don't know? Yeah, you don't really. Yeah, you. They always say no. They always say what you want to get called. Let me let me ask you something. So, if you wouldn't have, if you if he would have never called. She would have never got caught. If he would have yeah. never caught. That means that so she would have. If he, the nigga would have never caught. Then you would have never knew. Yeah, I would have never knew. So, that's how just, so you would have just thought she was faithful. But I told her, I'm like, damn, you know, I'm like, the day of, I could have told, bro, at least, like, yeah, or so he's coming home, home, like, today, yeah. like, but she probably did keep it real. He probably was being funny. Like, yeah, I'm going to get you caught. Like, all right, you want to play? Hold on, so now, do you still talk to her? This month or something? Yeah. Dang. So she looking up to you now, like, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are, they are. Definitely, they are, they are. I already know. But you know what? I don't even know if I'm gonna ever ask my girl to tell the truth because it don't matter. In my head, I'm gonna say she was cheating on me. I came home from networking you, with him, you already and got I got dumped. I got dumped yeah. for networking. That's crazy, right? So it seems like she was already having something yeah, going real, on. Keep real, all my partners, girls don't like me. Why? They just always believe I got them around girls. That's how. They, that's why I got dumped. Hanging with him. And so he looked like he got like, yeah, I, like I can just control him and just tell them what to do. He told me I don't even work like that. Yeah. Can't nobody make you do something. No, no, no. They just think I just always just got them around girls or just, and, you know. They feel like you might give them some. They feel like you might give them some game. Oh, like, he got a haircut one time. This girl tripped out. What the? But he had long hair. No, he got a haircut. Like she just got mad. Thought he was going out. Oh wow. my god! So I was going through that type of stuff. So listen, let me ask you something. Uh, hey bro, how was the um, the volume on it? Like, is it good? Real good? Okay, just making sure. Okay, another question. They say, what was your best investments and worst investments? Um, well, a lot of my investments had crashed through the COVID. Uh, two of them, really, my salon and the clothing store, due to um, people being able to come in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying or whatever. And then um, the salon was in California, so. They had like a um, curfew. Yeah. A lot of people didn't want to um, come in and get their hair done, be touched or whatever. Um, yeah. So my one of my best investments. Uh, Please tell I, ain't dogs. Gonna, I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of people say jury not a good investment. Oh, that's a great man, that's a great a investment. investment. You get what I'm saying? Because I can take this back right now and, and get, get back. That's, that's why I just said that in there. Yeah, I just so, said that. I just said that. Yeah. I just so, talked to and I did it. I went to your and did it. Yeah. I got exactly I, what I paid for my watch. They was like, man, stupid, you spent a million dollars on jury. I'm like, bro, it's first I can wear it. I got seven million dollars. Yeah. That you, you know wearing though. Yeah. You so, can't even wear a million dollars like I that. I just got it yeah. sitting there in the bank. Yeah. There ain't no interest on that. Yeah, so that's a good investment. The dogs is a good investment too, but they come with ins and outs of it too. They be having little health issues, mm. you know what I'm saying? Breathing problems. That's what happened to my um, dog. The skin problems. The joints, the bones, all that type of stuff. It just, it just depends on like where you get them from, and then like you know the, the breed of them. You know what I'm saying? And that's come with it. The one just told me today they got a prolapse. The prolapse on this. Um, what does that even mean? The prolapse basically on the penis or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. can, uh, can't even uh, produce. Wow. Yeah, so it just be different little stuff like that. But then once you get a good, a good batch, it'll be straight. So as far as with the dogs, um. Somebody tried to sell me a, a Frenchie that was a fluffy for like a hundred thousand. Yeah. I'm like, see, I, remember, I really thought he was. I'm see, like, I remember when Fluffies was ugly. Now I remember when Fluffies was ugly when they was like, yeah, man, you got too much hair on it, like they didn't like it, and then it just probably just one person just liked it or promoted it or ran with it, and now they like it. But I remember when they first made a Fluffy, and they didn't like it. They was like just a French bulldog with too much hair. So, so do you think that the Frenchie game is overrated? Um, I don't think that it's overrated. I think that it's big, like um, overseas. It, they got a big following, like like on Facebook. Like I see, like the Asian community love them. Man, yes, they, they love them. So yeah. it's, it, I don't think that it's overrated. I think that it's it's good money. Yeah. So so for for forty to a hundred thousand dollars for a dog. Yeah. Like, I see somebody on online sell a dog for like five hundred. I got a question. 
You from the Bay? Oakland. Oakland. Do you think that Detroit rappers are blowing up faster than Oakland rappers? Do I think that Detroit rappers are blowing up faster yeah. than Oakland rappers? No. I was one of the Oakland rappers that helped guide the Detroit rappers. You wow. know what I'm saying? I'm going to Detroit tomorrow, actually. I fuck with a lot of Detroit rappers. Can you curse on me? Yeah, you can. Okay. I'm going to beep it out. Um, I mess with a lot of Detroit rappers out there in and help them game how to uh, you know, monetize their music, uh, walk them in distribution companies, you get what I'm saying? So they well, you got your own label? Oh, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, nah, nah, I, I don't got my own. I do have my own label, but as in, I'm showing them how to become their own boss and have their own label right. and get paid off because a lot of them didn't, wasn't, wasn't um, hip to, so say basically, uh, the cameraman to have a, a video on his YouTube, like four or five million views. Right. For an artist song, and, and now he, he can hear me thinking that the cameraman took the money from him or getting paid for it, but not knowing that because you don't have your song on iTunes, that that that's how you're supposed to get paid. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you'll just be, oh man, 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 careful, man. He pocket, he pocket, however much money off of it, not knowing that this is how you get paid. This is how the song get registered. If right. you watch the major labels, they promote the song first, and then they drop the video. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they push the single. The song, whatever, and then they drop the video. That's how the song gets registered. That's how you get paid. Mm -hmm. Through the iTunes, through the streaming and everything, and through the video. Right. So it has to connect. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, so as far as um, in the Bay Area, right? Yeah. How is this, the so-called scammer, like the scamming scene out there? Like as far as is uh, a lot of scammers? scammers? I wouldn't say it's a big scamming scene. It's a big bipping scene. I don't know if you know what bipping yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Bipping is Breaking yeah, yeah. people's cars and stealing. Yeah. That's big out there. Dang. That's big out what, there. What, the cattle converter? Or just the breaking in? No, just the window. A lot of people, I don't know why people keep a lot of stuff in their cars or whatever, but I just see people get rich off just that. Just what? Breaking into windows. I, somebody hit me like probably a couple months ago. They had like four Birkin bags. Um, in the car? Had, that's what I, I didn't understand it. They had four Birkin bags, like two Rollies, uh, um, Chandelier AP. I'm like, what they hit a jeweler? Like, I didn't, like a lot of rappers that came to, to the bay and got bipped, got robbed. Like, so I think that's more bigger. That's like, San Francisco, standard. right? That's Oakland and San Francisco is everywhere. It's just, it's just a way of life out there. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But it's a lot of scamming too, though. You know, since the, the pandemic. Because you know, like, you know, scamming is really like, you know, New York, Detroit, Chicago, Florida. I really never heard of scamming towards that way heavy. That's why I want to kind of know. I mean, they got some scammers out there that do what they do. Uh, yeah, have you ever got scammed? Yeah. You have? Yeah. I got some family too. member. They, no did, family. they did the, um, what that was? They did EDD in my name. What's that? Somebody did that in my name. I get a text message about that. They did it in my name. What is EDD? Uh, unemployment. I've been getting what? texts about something about logging to this EDD. I just keep ignoring it. I'm saying though, how did, but I'm saying, okay. How do you know? How did you know that they did it? I knew that I did it because through all my businesses, and I was like, you should file for a, a, a SBA loan. Yeah. So I tried to file for the loan um, just to see if I can get approved or yeah. whatever, whatever. I don't know. They just, they tell me, like, like, like I said, my, my clothes store got shut down yeah. in the salon. I like, you should file for this. So they're like, oh, due to your, um, the COVID, due to, no, due to your, but this is in Vegas. Oh. So they were like, due to your EDD claim or EDD, whatever, you can't, in California, you can't get it. You ain't got no other fight to follow EDD. That's crazy. So then they, they tell you that the address, the house, the oh, email. So you, I can call them and find They tell you everything. Then when we find out, I know you was. No, I didn't find out that way, it was family. Oh, okay. I found out later on for another family member who did it. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. So you guys can learn some things. If you're getting text messages from some ED or just your family members that have your information, yeah. they ain't doing whatever they ain't doing and they scamming or whatever and they done, you know, that's all it is. They they just like the pandemic, they just get names and socials or whatever. Yeah, you're right. That's why I be telling people how how important your information is. Like you gotta protect your information at all times because like people just Yeah, they the life like and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. life life. Uh, all of a sudden I need that. Why you even tell me about life life? <laughs> Come on, man. Now, this is my biggest question I've been thinking. Yeah. Are you related to Money Back Yo? No. 
Okay, y'all like cousins or something. Everybody said that. Hey, they do. Hey, everybody said that. It was crazy. I was on the plane one day. And they like that. Man, and I ain't just wanted to just bust them out and just yeah. tell them like she all she didn't call home. Oh, she like, girl, look, I'm on a plane with money bag. Woo, woo, woo. And the girl <laughs> looking on the phone like, but I'm not saying nothing though. It was I'm talking about like made a big commotion on the airplane and everything. What? Like, yeah, I didn't walk through the mall and people say that though. So how long you been on Instagram? Why you think you don't got a million followers yet? Cause I don't be posting like that. Okay, so basically, that's something you can learn. Yeah. You gotta be active. It don't matter how lit you are in real life. Cause what's crazy is I, when I first got on there, like I was overlapping everybody, but I used to post like right every day, every shoe, yeah. the belt, the pants, the shirt, the whole fit, the whole arts from you. You got to do that I, back then. I, like that's, I, I get all dressed. I set up the whole little thing. Yeah. If it's a bit picture of me, then the belt, the shoe, the shirt, like yeah. all this stuff. Then I'm getting five, six, seven thousand likes back then. Yeah. This was a long time. I had a car behind me, and I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna be doing all that. Yeah. So it's, just, it's just about the activity with it. You yeah. Know what I'm like they want you to like, have. I can, on, I can go outside and go post all the cars and throw the money in, girls and all That's that. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm yeah. chill, like yeah, right, yeah. you feel me? I, I'm, I'm silent with that. We chilling, but that's why. Yeah. But I ain't really worried about that. We know we really got a yeah. real blue check in life. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's the man going okay. On. So, so they said, um, do you think that labels be finessing artists? Um, do I think labels finesse artists? They try to get him attacked by the labels. <laughs> I mean, not saying that, not we not we not saying that all labels are bad. Like in certain situations, yeah, yeah depending on how you finesse them. Like I don't, I don't understand because if you're an artist and the label get over on you, you let them do it. Yeah, you because you, yeah, you, you gave them something, you did something. It's no way that a label can get over on you without you letting them. You gotta have patience. Yeah, so if you got a bad contract and you didn't take the time to read it, you didn't give it to your lawyer, you mm -hmm. signed it so fast because you wanted that advance. You, you have something. Yeah, I got I got entertainment lawyer. But you have to, you have to take I don't see like like me coming here and you signed me to a deal and we like bam man Kevo, he messed me, he, he he did me wrong. Yeah. You brought me the the, the, the label, I mean the contract and I just signed it with I basically was just wanting to be with Bam Man Kevo. And I didn't take the time to read it, so I don't think that the label necessarily, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that they will or try if you let them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's what, yeah, true. That's what anybody, because they be. I turned like, down a lot of labels because they wanted to do like 360s and. Yeah. What's a 360? Everything. They touch everything that you that you touch. Oh. Shows, merch, uh, um, iTunes. I mean, just whatever. It ain't want everything. It ain't want to a back catalog, and I couldn't get that. Let up. me ask you something for the people, for the artists who are not hustlers, right? Who don't have no money and a label is willing to sign up to a 360 mm -hmm. with an advance? Which do you suggest that they take it? Um, it depends on how long. If it's not like ten like, hours, like, five hours. Like basically, they say they want two years. Yeah. If it's if you gonna flip it, yeah. Yeah. Like even but you gotta be a hustler. Like even people that sell their masters, people sell their masters. You gonna sell your masters forever? You might sell oh. it for five years. You might sell it for ten years. You might whatever. It's a quick quick flip. You might so the way so easy it wasn't forever. It ain't forever. It, it it automatically it automatically ends after ten years. No matter what. Yeah. So it depends on how long it be, man. I need a quick two million right quick. Right. You got it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You might take that money and flip it. You know what I'm saying? The advance to do better. Okay, cool. You might not be getting this money off the iTunes and off the but music right now, but you got this two million, you about to flip this and right. make more than that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends on how you look at it. True. You got a lot of jewelry, man. You said jewelry is a good investment. Yeah. Who's your jeweler? Or do you got like a list of jewels? Um, I didn't deal with everybody. Um, all this right here came from uh, Gary at Golden Sun in Detroit. Oh, Detroit. Okay. Yeah. So do you do you mess with Johnny Dan? Yeah, he did my grill. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, he did my so you only go to him for the grills? It's just certain jewels, certain stuff. Yeah. Like Hutch, he did all my, my buff glasses, my Corsair glasses. I got four pair of them. I got stuff from Ben Baller. I got stuff from. Uh, Laffy, I got stuff from Icebox. Oh, dang. Yeah, so it all depends. I got stuff from uh, Eliante, I got stuff from everybody. So, right now, as far as jewelry, like if you could get all new pieces right now, as you've been looking on Instagram, who would you go to right now? I just had Waffy just do it. Uh, yeah, Waffy. My FOD piece, my new one like that with the uh, Emeralds. Emeralds, yeah. yeah. So, Emeralds is the way to go now. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at it, I'm yeah. like, yeah. damn. Yeah. But, but Gary, I already had the watch, he just put the Emeralds in the band. Yeah. yeah. So, jewelry is a good investment. So I mean, it, 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 you got to depends on it depends on what you getting. As long as you getting the right, you know what I'm saying. You can't go in there like y'all got to understand. So I see a lot of people mad at jewelers. Like, oh, he gave me S size. He gave me this. He gave me this. Um, 
if you're not going there saying you want all VS, right. or all VBS, or all VS ones, or E color, F color, whatever, they gonna give you whatever you pay for. Exactly. They gonna, they gonna, if you go in there and say I want this big old piece, bust down, I got twenty thousand. He can't he give you, he can't give you the top of the line diamonds for twenty G's in your pieces. Gonna weigh a kilo, like it ain't, it ain't. Oh, like, yeah. He gonna have to do what he, he gotta do. Gonna cut the quality. Yeah. Oh, so man. you gotta go in there. Hey, I want, I want burst certificates on every stone. Right. I want all VVSs. I want all VS ones. I want this many diamonds. I want to hand pick them. I want this. Right. And go in there, complain to him. Oh man, I gave thirty thousand. You know, piece this big and expect it to be all VS ones. It's not yeah. gonna hurt. Yeah. Not gonna add up. No, I swear. For How sure. many cars you got? Uh, right now, I got. Um, Four and a, and, a, and a half. But they're all horns. <laughs> yeah, what I said a half because I, I just, I had, well, not just, but I had to pay down on my Rose truck. I'm just waiting on the truck. Oh, yeah. I just sold my Rose truck because it was collecting dust. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, so listen, what, what's mean, the point of that? He ain't tell me that. <laughs> See, I, if I would have knew I could have ran my cars out, I would have been running out. But I tried to yeah. run on Turo. I mean, I Turo, Turo, Turo. Turo. Yeah. Turo. 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 It was, it was I had them there every car except for who got it. What about custom cars, big rims, speakers, you don't like that? Um, I used to do all that back in the day, like growing up, had the old school with the rims on it. Like all my cars, they got rims on it. The Astro truck, I'm waiting on them. I ordered some 23s, but since they 23s, it's taking long for yeah. y'all to make them because they got a custom truck. Right, yeah, yeah. But on my Bentley truck, I got sixes. Dang. On the um, Lamb truck, I got deuces. And on the G Wagon, I got fours. That's the lead, though. Or the fifth one on the back. I got some cars on 34 inch forges, 32 inch forges. Yeah, old school, got some hummers. I got one old school, but I got like my boy CJ on 32 was getting that knocked out sleep. Yeah, he got the cars. He built me some like Camaros, yeah. one of a kind, yeah. Challenger, Jeep. So I got uh, one old school, yeah. 87 Monte Carlo. But none of my forms got rims. Yeah. They just got whatever. Stuff. Yeah, I was going to see what he told me about earlier about the rental or whatever. I was going to take all that off. Yeah. If I was gonna yeah, you got to. You got to leave it stop. But, yeah. All my fours, they all on forty dollars, black forty dollars. Is your cars a good investment? Um, I don't see why they wouldn't be. Do they depreciate? They depreciate. No, they everything don't. depreciate when you leave. That's jewelry. Yeah. yeah, but it depends on what kind of jewelry. Like I said, you buy that that yeah, wool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wool. Like if you get some, if you get some SIs with uh, just regular silver. Don't oh, nobody about silver though. People do try yeah, to finesse and say it's white gold. I just seen some people's jewelry that got stolen or whatever. Yeah. Bring it to the jeweler. And they be like, back of it is is just solid and drill a hole through it, 925 come out, ain't even no gold in it. It's wow. diamonds in front of it. Trust me, bro. Like, you gotta understand, like, a lot of these people, they just wanna shine, shine right. bad. Yeah. And they don't even have the money to shine, so they really need to do any and everything. Take it to they make it. Yeah, just like with Instagram. Like, the reason why I don't be on Instagram like that is so much fake stuff on Instagram. They got filters. You could make your stuff yeah. go smaller, true, make true. your butt bigger, yeah. make your hair yeah. longer, and all that. Yeah. They don't got it. Wait, they hair longer? Like, girls, they got stuff oh, like that. Oh, yeah, oh, they got stuff like that. I need to that. use that. What is they got filters to make you a different complexion, your eyes, no, whatever. Sure. Is, they don't have a filter for faking. Right, yeah. I can come in here right now and take a picture in your, in your closet and be like, this is my clothes if I post yeah. on the gram and they'll believe it. If they don't know, that's CJ. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They don't got a filter on that to be like, this put, the, put the circle no, with sure, the line through sure, it like, sure. fine, fine, he faking. You know what I'm right, saying? Sure. So, it's a lot of... Instagram, lot of, take notes. Y'all need to create yeah. something that put that one. If I came here right now, I'm like, you see all the one you got, all the one you got. I take a picture. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 no, yeah. They don't know who it is. Yep. I had right. like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done had a dude come to my house before, bro. I had some red bottoms on my pool table. And he actually, Take a picture of the Reds and post them on his page like they was here. Like right in front of me. Oh, Damn! Man. Crazy. That's what I'm you like. cut him off? Nah. I ain't got to cut him off. He really wanted my yeah. potty, my potty, potty, but he uh, just came over to the crib and, and I seen it on his page. I'm like, bro, like, ready to do anything for the grand. Yeah. What do you think about cutting off fake friends? I don't really got no fake friends. I don't even really, I don't really hang with too many people. What do you think ain't. about cutting off people that's not helping you advance? That's just that, around. That been or family members. That, that, listen, I, I don't deal with a lot of my family members. I don't yeah. deal with a lot of people I grew up with. I don't deal with a lot of people that show me on the way to my success that they wasn't here for me. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's like, if we not building, if we not doing nothing, if if, it, if you not a, a asset, you a liability, right. I don't yeah. need you. Exactly. You That's know what I'm saying? Right. Like only two people I own this world is my two kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't owe y'all nothing, but, and if I can't trust you, that's what the question about the back door. If I can't trust you to where if I can put my jewelry down or my 
girl purse down or a car key well, or whatever. Right. If I can't trust you in the house around it, I don't need you around. Right. For sure. You got to sure. say it. I just, that's how you got to move and people will say you acting funny and different. Nah, bro, I didn't work this hard to get this far to have people around me that don't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Or looking at you as a come up. So it's like, okay, cool. I catch bad man, careful out. You say you left an earring on the table. They so quit that. They had grabbed an earring, jump on the ground like, yeah, I just knocked bad man, man camel out and got an earring and took it off the table and tried to just to get it. Yeah. Like, they oh, they want to do. Yeah, yeah, true. Now they yeah, did, they did none of that. Got robbed, they ain't did none of that. Right. Your yeah. ring could be right there. And yeah, post, yeah. post the ring and be like, ride before his ring. Yeah. Just to get it to the top and go to the world. Yeah. He's gonna yeah. make it too. And then, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so I be telling my, I be telling my dudes, a lot of my dudes, they be having like a lot of my old jury. Or I didn't game drew or whatever, and I'm like, man, you gotta protect it because it's no, bigger than just you. No, you know, because it. yeah, so so they might not even know who you is. If something happened, they gonna just go to the ground with another chain, think no, that it's mine. You do, you do. Yeah. You're, you're, you're That's you're fine. You gotta protect, you damn it gotta protect your jewelry more than the car. Yeah. Cause if you lose, just if you lose your ring, let so, anybody find it. Yeah, it's They gonna get to sell, if they can't sell it to a jeweler, they gonna try to sell it to somebody who's gonna they buy gonna it. They gonna go to the ground and try to get publicity off of it. Somebody just try to do that. like. Somebody I know that I ain't even had nothing to do with his jury or whatever, but he had a chain that was made like mine. He ended up getting robbed. And this guy jumped on the, in, in the DM and on the ground, acting like he robbed me. What? I had to jump on his live. They're like, I jumped on his live. Like, and then jump on live, he knows with Ruby. Uh, he like, no, nah, bro, I'm just saying, man, like, like, mess with me when you come in town here, yeah, man. Tell your boy I got the chain, come get it back. But I'm like, bro, I was watching him. You was only saying you robbed me. Oh wow! It's crazy. Then, then the, the next post is got an album coming. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 always. Next yeah. post got an album coming. Yeah, it it's always, crazy, yeah. bro. Like I wasn't raised like that, bro. Like, that's why I don't be on the ground like that. That's why I don't care about that. Like, yeah. I don't care about that, bro. Good boy, yeah. Nate. Eight, yeah. three, bro. Eight, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I don't care about that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another question. Yeah. Do you think clothes and shoes is a good investment? Um, if they hold that value, I guess. But see, I don't really wear my clothes <laughs> twice, really. Like, so that's what I was telling. I, I, I think it's smart to wear something and take it back. Who wants to do that? No, that's, that's what, what I keep hearing. No, no, no. I, that's what I told him. I told him this. I said, I'm from Chicago, right? So I used to see a lot of people Buy designer clothes, yeah. wear it once, you know what I'm saying, and then take it back. I but that, that that's it's like you said, that's more of for the gram because yeah. you can't go to the club and sweat in that right. shit yeah, yeah, and yeah. do that. You will literally have to be on the carpet, take your yeah. photo, boom, and then this what these dudes doing taking that shit right. That's serious for a picture, but yeah, I, that's I say that's what they like, doing. Like, look, I probably got like maybe like no lie, maybe like ten to fifteen Gucci outfits I ain't wear yet. Yeah. Right. But I don't just get up and throw them on to take a picture. To take a picture, a little picture, and put it on Instagram. That ain't enough for me. So I'd rather have my man come take a picture once I'm doing something, a show, a video, right. something that's gonna make it count. Yeah. Instagram don't count for me, bro. Yeah. Like if okay, I'm about to throw this fly Gucci fit on, I'm about to shoot a video. This right. is millions of views. You're that's why I got all this. It's gonna be worth it. Bro. I seen people just go get fly to take a picture in the corner on the wall. Yeah. For no reason. But I also seen people not take the clothes back, but like stylists pull up with outfits, throw them on them for a video, and take it right off of them. Yeah. I've so never seen them. Nobody yeah. put the clothes on and go back to the mall. Right. But I ain't never seen nobody do that. Yeah. But I seen them like stylists come up, they got a whole line of shoes, a whole line of clothes, yeah. they try it on. Wear so, it it, it's, so for instance, now do you know that Instagram is actually, they monetize yeah. uh, posts and lives yeah. and stuff like that. So let's say if Instagram monetizes your page right now, would you turn up more on it? Yeah. You turn up more on it? Yeah. But you gotta turn up for them to monetize you. Because you need a million followers. So if you go like I you get, get paid, paid for that? Okay. Yeah. So I get paid, I go live, I get paid for posts and all that. Okay. IGTV, I get paid for that, all that. I can do all that, bro. Keep it real, bro. Like I don't even be I don't need you carrying cash or nothing no more. Like I'm putting everything in the bank. I got I got a little bit of money right now. I don't know. First money I just did, like I just yeah. went to uh um, Ohio had a show, did like two verses, and the dice game. You know what I'm saying? Other than, I go, well, you play dice? Dice. Shoot dice. Yeah, go the street. casino or just street dice? Street dice. Uh -huh. Both of them. Uh -huh. Go go straight to the bank, put that in there. Like, I don't want to be one of So this is I'm, a I'm smart kind of, I'm kind of like, on, yeah. kind of like on, I did all that. Right. And so all you the got, pictures with all the big money, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know a lot of that stuff bring the wrong attention. No, I do, I do. You know what I'm saying? 
So I, you probably don't know. So I was locked up, right? Yeah. Um, I was locked up in the feds. I had yeah, got I know. caught. Remember we talked? Yeah, yeah, I told her. Talk so to I went to. I got. I was at a camp. I got caught with a cell phone. I got caught with a um, laptop. Boom! They shipped me to a low. Now low, you was around a lot of people from around the world. You yeah. know, Cali and all that. So when I got in there. I was in the uh, TV room and there was a lot of Cali niggas. Mm -hmm. And bro, you, you, I never told you this, but all they was doing was talking about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was like, like yeah, uh, man, this nigga from, uh, they, I think that they think you from Cali though. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, cause yeah, I thought bro. you was from, from Vegas, I'm trying. No, 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 no. So, okay. They was like, man, yeah, I only talk, I only uh, listen to bro and this and that. I'm like, who is bro? Yeah. So I started listening to you in there, buying, cause your song's on the computer. So you can buy the music in jail. Like Francis. And that's not okay. So not every artist got that. Like okay, yeah. like my music is not can't get in a federal system. Wow. That yo, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Yo, so you if you get in a federal, you just just and you gotta clean the album. So look, all my this is what I did. All I made all my songs clean. I did, but it's hard to get in trulings, bro. So his his reach is way will be way bigger than ours because he's in a federal system. It's hard to get on a federal system. Plus his checks will be way bigger because. If I drop an album, I gotta get people in the world to buy my music. He got people in jail that don't doesn't do anything Just but buy music. music. Yeah, that's why. Wow. Like when you go in there, you see money bag, you see guys, you see that's, everybody. That's, that's, the, that's the bigger distribution. That's the empire. You know what I'm saying? But they they make you clean the album also. Cause What's some, clean the album? Man? No like, cursing. No cursing. Oh, like, like you know they are, they they're 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 bound, they're bound to mix and master with it, and then they do edited versions. To, to, to um, supply to the jail, to the state, the feds, or whatever. So it's record labels dead, distribution's in. That's the record label. Distribution, the distribution deal is like a record label deal? Just having distribution through a record, through a record company. But is it the same as a record label? No, because I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not signed to the rec, to the label side of Empire. I just have distribution. Right. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? So I got my own label, I got my, my own boss, so I, I call my shots. You got LLCs or yeah. corpse? I got LLCs and DBAs. Dang. I got four corporations, one LLC, but I don't, I don't put my I put my music out to myself, but I don't have a no type of distribution deal, no type of label deal. So, so it's all me. Down. I just put it on tune. Cool. Yeah, it goes directly to you then. Okay, so that is smart. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. So I know a lot of people that make a lot of money on tune. So I got like one of the highest credit scores in the game, right? So I'm one actually my score is like damn near nine. Okay. So I want to ask you how important is credit to you. To me, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like like I said, like I ain't been having a lot of cash on me. I don't be doing all the other rappers doing whatever. And I just started really building my credit. Yeah. Just, even today, I just text my, my baby mom, like send me both of my kids' socials. Yeah. So I can put them on my car. I, I just yeah. did. Yeah. 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 And they have a text message right now. And they 15 and 17. He put yeah. some 17 and younger kids on good credit by using authorized use. Mine ain't no nine, but it's close to eight. Yeah, that's good. So that means that when they turn eighteen, that they'll be they'll be that inherit his credit, yeah. which is very. But important. a credit score yeah, is credit not as important. important. I just did that today. A yeah. credit score is not as important as what's on your credit history. Yeah. You can have a low credit score, yeah. but a lot of history that makes you look bigger. Yeah, mine close to eight already. You know what I'm saying? I just just text them over for the social, whatever. They probably hesitant to send it to me. Probably what you trying to do? They probably thought I was trying to file taxes or something. Oh no, no. Nah, yeah. nah. No, that's good though. That like credit game. It's, that's what I've been. It got on. me. A, it got me a real photo. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that I don't. I rather put the ten percent and the five percent right. down versus. Yeah. I kind of got. At first, I used to be like, man, I don't want to cash out. I yeah. want to just cash that's out stuff. That's is, that's not the way. Yeah. You rather save all your money and use percentages and let everything pay for itself. Like I'm gonna buy a yacht. Probably next week it's two point five million. I only got to put twenty percent down, yeah. and then I'm gonna charge every four hours sixty five hundred every four hours. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So you know what's gonna pay for itself. Yeah. So I don't have to pay for the what the mortgage or what's what is gonna be a month, and also I'm gonna be able to have fun because I'm all, I'm the owner of the boat. I can hop on a boat anytime yeah. with whoever. If I don't trust them, I can just like man, bro, get on the boat with them and watch them. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different lane with the credit. That's why I was asking about the credit. Yeah, it's all about just doing things the right way, bro. It's, it's time, like. A lot of people be lost for the gram, a lot of people yeah. be lost for the social media, but it's like, it's like you gotta last, not coming last. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and, and when you're trying to, you can't beat the internet. Yeah, no matter what it is, you can't beat the internet, bro. It's, it, no matter what it is, like you will be the man today and tomorrow not the man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Overnight, so you gotta do what's going, you gotta really do for what's you and your family what's gonna count at the end of the day. Yeah, I wanna ask you, I wanna ask you, um, do you read comments? 
I don't, but like if I'm like on my gram and then I see something like, you know how you push the little heart thing, like something like, like fresh, and yeah. then I see it like that. But I don't just sit there and just go, yeah. I don't do that. How do you feel about hating comments? Like like us, he was, I don't read comments on YouTube, yeah. or it's a lot of negative shit. So you, it, you, it, you, gotta, you gotta understand, like, it come with it. Yeah. Not 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 because your whatever it is that you putting out there, the content is bad or wrong. It's just you can't make everybody happy. And with that being said, it's a lot of unhappy people in the world. Oh and so, so just say it's it's it's, it's a million bad man Yeah. That want to be able to get on there and get a game, but don't know how to do it. Don't know how to go about doing it. So instead of them studying, learning how to um, learning how to um, present that game, they rather hate. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't, I bet you it ain't, it ain't a hate comment in the world for me on somebody else. Right. Yeah, me so I can't do that. Yeah. I can't go to another man. Like, I'm not asking you to follow me. I'm not asking you to watch this video. I'm not asking you to like this picture. So, for you to take the time out your day to hate on what the next man is doing, that's a lot about yourself. Exactly. So, that, that comes with the rappers also. The rappers, they, where I come from is crabs in the bucket. There ain't too many that make it right. Like you said, you was watching on in the feds and I'm always talking about it. I'm the yeah. biggest thing for my city. Yeah. Just to be honest with you, not on cocky. Yeah. Just being real. You know what I'm saying? And as in some unsigned street, you know what I'm saying? I'm the biggest thing. You yeah. feel me? When all the big artists come out there, they bring me out to perform and everything. They can rock with me. I got songs with some of the biggest artists. You feel me? So it's just a lot of people, bro, they just don't, they not secure with themselves. So just like you, you got the the what that forget finesse yeah, guy, right? Yeah, Man, oh, that's fake. Right. Wow, is he got it? Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. That, that's just what it is. But how can you? I don't see how people can even possess themselves to even say something like yeah. that. Yeah, you know. So. After you just like I, I, never, I, I never, did it on like camera. me, like me. That's why I did it online. You go on Instagram. I bought the the ass truck online, cash, all blues online. They Man. still say how much was it? Two photos. They still say it was rented. Like I just said, you don't want cash. I, 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 know what was I didn't walk around with cash. Oh, you knew what you was doing. No, I wasn't. I was dealing with the dog. My boy called me. Said, "Hey, he know my setup with the cars." He said, "Man, the acid truck up here, right here, white or red. The only one in the, in the state. What you gonna do? But they sell it. Tell him on the way." I went grab it. Wow. You feel yeah. me? I ain't. I wasn't walking around with two fifty on me. Yeah. I went grabbed it and shot up there. You know what I'm saying? They went and bought it because I didn't been talking about it, thinking about that ass and truck. Like sometimes I talk stuff into this. Yeah, yeah. So you believe in law of attraction? Yeah. See, man. You believe in God? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Of course. So, so listen. Yeah, man. You got. You believe in law of attraction? Yeah. I believe in law of attraction. You guys that's watching, I've been telling you this. If you don't manifest it by saying it out of your mouth or writing it down, yeah. don't don't wait on it. It's not gonna happen. You got to speak it into existence, and that's so easy to do that people think it's not gonna work. So you gotta stop being that person. Oh, I'm not gonna say that because it ain't gonna never be true. I used to sit back and say, man, I'm gonna have a Lambo. I'm gonna have a mansion. By the way, what you think about my house? I like it. I ain't give you a whole tour though, but yeah. you was here before me. I was gone yeah. when he came. I like it. Do you got property? Yes. So do you ever see yourself Airbnb in one of your properties? No. No? No. Why? Because it's too much stuff in there that value. Yeah, and it's too much stuff in there that Personal. I would have to take stuff out. Yeah. And then for one, like, I know how Airbnbs go. I done got Airbnbs. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see how people do yeah, them or whatever. Yeah, they, they do them. I don't they, got time for all that. Yeah, okay. they do them. They do them. Yeah, yeah. like so you I don't have no problem. Like, it would have to be something I just buy just for that. Yeah, it can't be something I lived in or lived in and trying to rent it out. I got to get up and they uh, coming in and they got. to yeah. They got to come back. I got to clean up. I got to. I, I couldn't be able to do it. It had to just be a property just for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nothing, not too much in it. Just enough, like, like nobody would never know I own it, live there, right. no nothing. But I couldn't hear because, like, like, like for instance, like, like I was telling him, one of these type of houses can probably go for about six to eight thousand dollars a night. Yeah. That's a lot of money a month. Yeah, but the, if he work. bought a house just for that yeah. without all his shoes and clothes, and because what you gonna do? You Airbnb in the house? You gonna lock the door? Yeah. You have to lock the door. It's, it's been doors in Airbnb that's locked. Yeah, so yeah you have to lock the door. You have to come in here and see something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't break the door down. Yeah, like, it's just so day. much. Like, I got studio in the house. I got wow. this over this, all this. You live 10 minutes from me. That's one house, yeah. But I'm saying at the other one, I got a big one too. Uh, if I ever be that one, you got paintings on the wall, all type of stuff. Uh, uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's like, it'll be hard to do. But like, if you just want to just do investments where you just found a nice spot, not too much in it, I'm just here to be that one. That'll be cool, yeah. Do you know YG? Yeah. He lived down the street, man. Do it. In the same neighborhood. Okay. I've never been in his house, but um, the 
dude who built these properties. He was telling me like, yeah, man, you you the second um, famous person now. It's YG down the street. I'm like, what? That's crazy. So the same dude that built my basketball course built your basketball court. Mm-hmm. We got YG down the street. You ten minutes away in mm-hmm. one of your properties. Mm-hmm. So this is a good area, you think? Yeah, this this one of the best areas in Vegas. Do you got gated community? Yeah. All your properties? No. So this not gated community. You yeah. think that's smart? Uh, I will, the area is good, but gated community, community yeah. is safer. Yeah. Right. Just for the simple fact, you know who who put it up. Right. Yeah, that's, that's all we tell them. No put it up. So. If I was if I get another one, I get gated. It's just you know, just be the it'd be the party crib. In and out, just like you know, I'll be having parties though. Hey, I'm just saying, like you know what I'm saying. So you want to know where you lay your head? At, you know what I'm saying. All my fans know my address. They pull up all day, order DoorDash all day. Yeah. All, somebody paint my house the other day. Oh yeah, See, that's like, a lot. Weirdo stuff. You know? Yeah, so that's a lot. That's why I was asking like. Yeah, I just had a lot of weirdo stuff to where like a jeweler to see me outside in the garage and he's trying to take a picture and. Take a picture with uh, you post it. I'm like, bro, hold on, bro, don't post that, bro. You can tag the, the community. Oh, oh, I'm like, bro, you oh, wow. weird. Yeah, like, you would have hit the But they don't, they don't pay attention to it, what they doing. Yeah. They just thinking like, oh, man, I see my paper right here. You know what I'm saying? You got to know like, yeah, you putting me out there, bro. You got to relax. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but if I was you, I, yeah, I'd come get it on Alright. I'm taking advice from this man because not only is his name filthy rich, yeah. but he's obviously filthy rich. Yeah. You don't see people spending two hundred and forty thousand on a cop in cash at once. Like yeah. Kevo said, I like to do credit. I like to do that because I wanna have my uh liquid everything in my pocket, in my bank account. But you know, I'm trying to be filthy rich one day. I need a song. I heard I heard you. I heard need a song. What'd you say? He he, he made how many? Twelve M. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but see I like to spend my money though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I never invested or made smart decisions. You, gotta tell me, you can just buy your own gate get it in front true, of here. True, you can right. trick somebody to be in front of this thing all day. Yeah. That's what I think I need to do. It's twenty four hour security and gate my own house, bro. Mm-hmm. But then all my neighbors gonna be like, What's this gate? You know, like, yeah, now we gotta get gate. Just tell them that I'm securing the property. You know what you can do though for like a good 10 days just put like some security out there, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Because we were just talking about it's a no trespassing sign. Yeah. I feel like if I was a fan and I seen a no trespassing sign, I probably wouldn't come, depending on how how it looked like or it would be prosecuted. Man, these yeah. fans don't care. Plus, they already here. Yeah, I was just, yeah, you're right. Like, oh, look, I almost one day, boy, I almost got ugly, boy. I'm with my kids in the car, like, that's why I like that. My kids in the car, like, especially about like a uh, flamboyant car that people would know. Yeah. Like, right. There would something that they don't know, yeah. so. I leave at the gas station when it's a cabin. I leave at the gas station. They come in, they see me and make a U turn. See, I told you. So when they make a U turn, I tell my kids to get down the back. I don't know what you want. Yeah, I don't know you. Yeah. I don't know your car. I don't know nothing. So mind you, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. leaning on the door and I see him pull up and he and the passenger side is raised up, start dancing like, Oh, uh, Phil, man, we mess with you. You don't even know what's on the other side of this door, bro. Yeah, like, I'm you. But y'all playing don't know my kids in the car. That's what I'm so it's like fans can fans can put you in an awkward position. Yeah, and then I've seen situations like this too. You might think it's a fan, and you might really want to get a buzz off you, trying to give you a hug. And that's what I said. What I what did I tell you? I say, I say, I say, bro. That's why I'm not doing that. But I but I shake fans' hands. I don't shake their hand like up close. I shake their hand and hit them with the elbow. Man, and, and keep it real. Jeezy showed me that one day. I was well, I think I was with Jimmy Jones. I was here in Vegas. Yeah, which like the um, little clothing thing. And it kind of had me mad. He did that, but I thought about it later on why he did. Oh, he did it to you? Yeah. So after he did that, I started doing it. Right. So I'm like, I'm what do you look like? Like, 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 like leaning. Like ah, that. keeping him back. Like, yeah, uh-huh. keeping him back from him like hey, that. So, so let me like, practice it. Right. Back up. Man. Yeah, like so, but you gotta lean in. Yeah. So like, you shake your hand, you gotta lean in, and you get him with the elbow, keep him away from you. So once I guess that curve your jury and give you enough room to move. Oh, you that's hard. Right. Right. So when he did me like that. I was like, dang, like nigga. <laughs> but then I thought about it. Why? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause a person can just like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Just, and just go just like this Man, and try to run off. What I say? Like people go to shows just to do that. I told him that. Like people go to shows, like, yeah, Ben Man Campbell, like even even with this game too. Say I book you for a show. Yeah. How much you want? You move, okay, cool. He gonna come to life. Yo, I home. with the jury on. Yeah. Right, cool. Bam. That's all this. So bam, so look at this. Here your room information, your flight information. Oh, heck, you know, they didn't book, they not even. Give your room and flight information. They, they go to the show. show. Go back to the room, I get the show. You don't get something. It might be a bracelet, a ring, whatever. That's why I put my own flight, yeah, bro. my 
own room. That's every bit to it. Send me my travel. I'll be telling you, you can't be you can't be naive, bro. You gotta be. I'm too I'm too naive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too and look, even when even when the cops pull up, how bro just said they doubled, I would have hit the windows down already. Cause you already know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just think ahead, like if some dude, you know what I mean, happen to no, I, already had, had, I got shot. I always before, you got shot. Yeah, you know, before I always told myself to never panic. It was like I like premeditated. Right. Like I told myself, I seen it happen to so many people before. I'm like, never do that. If this ever happened, do this. Be calm. Do this. Like, 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 Bag in. like you talk. Like you, I drove myself to the hospital up there. Like I told myself, like, like seen it so many times. Like, right. Like, oh yeah. Like, be calm. People bleed out, man. They like, 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 you know, no, they never seen this style video on my channel. Okay. It's like my last video, interview with my baby mom, but that was different. They was anticipating. How was the kids? She nine. Not and then I got two twins, but it wasn't that baby mom. She just dumped. So she my like baby mom. You know, I can't mad. do her. She gonna be mad. I can't do her. She don't, she already not talking to me. As soon as I pull the other baby mom back, talking to me, I be blocking them there. <laughs> so I need to block. I need to block. Oh, no, okay. I love my kids. Though. My, like, my kids got phones, so I talk about ready to them. See, my twins yeah. are they like one. Okay, yeah, you gotta be. But she ain't answering. <laughs> what do I do? Like, do you got advice on that? What do I do to my newest baby? Real, mom? okay. My first baby mom, I don't know, Phil Junior. I used to just deal with her, with her mom. With her mom. With her mom. With her mom. I can't do that mom. Like doing? everything directly with her mom, because I seen the relationship how it was going between me and his mom. So I wanted, like, if I'm not able to tell my story, what I'm going through, and why things ain't going the way he would want it to be, she would be able to tell him in the long run, no, the grandma, that your dad wanted, wanted to be there, wanted, tried, did this, but but due to the fact that your mom and him. You might you might feel like certain things didn't go the right way, but no, he did. Right. You know what I'm she could tell him my story. So Okay, what if what if the mom is like what if you got a girl that mom is on the dark side and like don't like you either? Um I mean I had that too with the with my, my second side. Of course so, they're gonna always pick that child side, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, so. Like your mom's gonna pick your side. Yeah, right. like my son ain't getting out the room, he's gonna do the same thing for her. But then the day y'all gotta come to a common ground to like it ain't just about. But it, how though if you dealing with somebody that's petty? Time. You got. I'm gonna keep real. I'm petty. I'm super petty. I'm gonna be petty back. I'm the petty. Kid. I'm gonna be. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna be super petty. Like you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna have to figure it out, bro. Like, somebody gonna figure it out. I'm gonna be petty. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how not to be. Like especially like if you know you're doing your part. Right, right. If you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like, all right. Like, I done did everything for my baby moms. Like, bought cars for the kids. Dang. I done first and last. And then. First and last for houses to move in. Yeah. All types of, due to the fact that you have my child. If you didn't have my child, we wouldn't even have a conversation with you. Right. And I don't have to do that. And then they do that because of him. He has to ride that car. And he has to live in that house. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, if, it, if he wasn't there, I would can we live there? Exactly. Can we drive? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, my baby mama come pick my way from the airport. She got fishbowl, fishbowl, no tits on the car. Right. I'm like, man. I feel like as soon as you can give them give a shit, huh? Yeah. To your car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you can give them two, three hundred thousand dollars, and as soon as they get mad, they act like you still didn't do enough. Wow. Or something. Like you didn't do nothing. Don't be never enough because they gonna catch your pockets. Yeah. Like, so you, I don't, I don't even know which. With your baby mama probably asking for or whatever. I done been sued, took the court, all that. Yeah, I'm I'm dealing with the same thing right now with my second son. I dealt with the first one. That was over it. I'm dealing with child support my second son right now. But I feel like that all came about due to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because before my mind, my son 15, the other one was 17, one about to be 16, one about to be 18. Right. Y'all wait to damn to put him on child support. Put your child support. Yeah. It ain't 16 months, 16 days, 16 weeks. They grown. Right. They about to get their own job. And now due to the pandemic and them not able to work or whatever's going on because it's, it's like, I feel like the pandemic is different in different states. 
in California they have like a curfew. You can't be out to a certain time. Oh um, yeah, it's good. It, 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 it's different things. So with that being said, it's like if I look like that, what you doing? He doing show, he doing it. Now knowing that all my mine just slowed down too. Yeah. For everybody. It just slowed down for everybody. So the good thing is though shit is you 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 what's your person your person what's your first name? Philip. Okay. So Philip works for Filthy Rich. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. You so got an entity. So when you go to when you go to you go to court, oh, I'm Philip. I work for Filthy Rich. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just his worker. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the hardest because at the end of the day, that's your corporation. Mm-hmm. That's a business. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Well, I dealt with it already. I mean, it was cool. I, I I'm happy with the decision. Oh, okay. okay. What they yeah. made or whatever. Um, but it's just it's a simple fact that I never wanted to have to be on that because I always looked at that as like for dead. Yeah, yeah. Somebody not for a person that like my kids got jewelry, Dang. my kids got cars. Like oh. I never bought them cars because they ever ever drove a car. I've been Dang. paying um, not car loans but um, insurance storage. Oh, storage fees. Yeah, for the cars since they've been like, like for years. So let me ask you something. Like it's, every month. As far as what if the kids was riding like you know how like let's say. You and your baby mama. What if the kids was on her side more? I feel like they're always gonna be like that if they live with them. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like to the point where they're like all the way, all the way, like very like treat, like treated you different just because they wanna be more on her side. What would how like I said, I feel like they're gonna be like that due to the fact they have to see their mom every day. Mm. My kids don't live with me, I only get them in the summertime. They right. come and come holidays, they come weekends, whatever, they don't go to school, whatever. But like they should keep them and then I keep them throughout the summer. All right. But you basically live with your mama. You gonna wanna you know, lean to her more than you. No matter what, if it's your son or not. Like they can say they not, whatever, but I tend to deal with that with both of them because you know mom's gonna be a big influence on them. They gonna want you to pick a side, you know. It's, it's different. Like, you know, they care them for nine months. They yeah, breastfed yeah. them, whatever, you know what I'm saying? They live with them, so it's gonna be I feel like they gonna lean that way regardless. Okay. So well, guys, I think this was very eventful and I learned something. I said this when I first met you. It's like you walking around with no friends, you thinking, oh, don't nobody got the same energy as me. I met you. And I'm like, is we best friends? You know what I'm saying? I never met you, but it felt like that. I feel the same way with him. We got the same problems, <laughs> the same motivation, the same energy type. So it's crazy that it seems like everybody that's successful, they think alike. We got a law of attraction. Like everything is the same. That's kind of crazy. Though. I want you guys to always remember, surround yourself with people that's just like you, not with the people that you grew up with. Because you can grow up with somebody that take a, a total different turn and they not on what you want and then they gonna hold you back. Yeah, don't I'm let nobody too, hold you back. Just because they blood don't make a family. Wow. Yes, sir. Just because Whoa. they blood don't make a family. A lot of family that's got the same blood to you will do you wrong. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's a good way to end this video, man. We're gonna go outside, shoot some basketball, play some you know, we ain't gonna play. We got on jury and all that. We're just gonna shoot a couple shots in this video off the right way. But right now, man, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow my boy Filthy Rich on Instagram, which I will put in the description. Don't forget to follow Bam Man Kevo. I'm putting that YouTube's in the description. Let's turn them up, man. He might start posting more if you guys come show some love. <laughs> he already posted the most. He the post king. As hey, you know, man. Also, I want to give a shout out to CJ for getting me to a million followers on Instagram. Bye. Bye, Nobody don't ever thank me, man. Right, they don't think. CJ don't get me to a million. I'm <laughs> 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 You gotta start posting, and then we gonna get you. I got you, man. Then you gotta follow me back. Come on, I got you, man. I'm already following him. I don't even follow nobody. Hey, it was crazy. I just called my son and my nephew. They were crazy. I called my nephew. I'm like, guess where I'm at? He's like, this is a cool house. You don't even be here. I'm like, how you know that? He just seen the back. So, like, it was good being you today, bro. Good energy. Yes, I've been talking to Kevin. You get what I'm saying? He he told me about you. The kids like you, man. Salute to you, man, for doing something positive, man, and running up them M's, man. That's what that's what it's about. Yes, sir, man. You said that. Yeah, crazy. Man, he acting like a baby. Yeah, like, oh, he peeing again. He is? Yeah, he just, <laughs> that boy just peeing. <laughs> you can sell him for $10,000. He too big for me, though, bro. Yeah. Oh, he gonna pee on me. Oh, my dick guy. He's too young. He's too much.
my school that. kids go. Uh, 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 best friend go. Uh, 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 now watch the money go. Uh, 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 all my ladies go. Uh, 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 now all my fellas go.